Hello, this is my very basic tutorial on how to use Hitscriber. First of all, we're going to need to download a program called Tamper Monkey, which is going to be used for all your uh, scripts and everything for uh, MTORC. So, we go on Google and we write Tamper Monkey. Uh, we get the first website. Here is uh, Tamper Monkey for Chrome. Uh, is because I haven't downloaded it, uh, it shows like remove from Chrome, but it should have like it will be like download from Chrome, okay? So you need to press the download button, and then after you download it, as it should appear, we start your Chrome just in case. And after you start it, you need to go a website called Greasy Fork, okay? So you write it's Scrapper Greasy Fork. Uh, you see the first thing is called hit scrapper with export. Okay, that's where we need to go. Instead of install version for 0.1.4, uh, there's gonna be install because you don't have it installed. I have it. Okay, so we're gonna install. I'm gonna click here, chose install, but I have it reinstalled. After it's done, uh, it's supposed to be loaded in Tamber Monkey. So how do you access the hit scrapper web page? If um, you see, I have also links included in this file, I'll upload it with a video. If you see, uh, here is a Hitscriber download link. Yes. Down here, it shows all the links you can enter to access the Hitscriber. So for example, I took the first link and I put it here. What we need to do is we need to take this link, copy it to Chrome here, and it opens that. So instead of copying pasting it every single time, we're gonna bookmark this page. Let's say it's grabber to the bookmarks page. Yes. It's supposed to be saved here, okay? It's supposed to be saved here somewhere. Uh, here, there we go. I'm just gonna drag it to here, so it's easy. Okay? So this is a hit scrubber interface. I'm gonna try to explain everything in hit scrubber in this video. So, auto refresh delay is how much do you want the scrapper to refresh the page per second. So, let's say one, that means it's gonna refresh the hits one time per second, okay? Let's say two, that's two times per second. So, why you might need to reduce this time, like maybe you're gonna put it to three or two, is two reasons. So, uh, mTORC caps you to how many times you can refresh per second. So let's say you are uh, having it on one second and you have your hit catcher or your hit finder open and it's working. When you uh, do some uh, like batch work, if it keeps catching uh, like big numbers of hits, like let's say uh, 10, 20 and you try to do them, it's going to give you some message that you have exceeded your refresh rate. So you might need to lower this a little bit, like maybe two seconds, three seconds. Also, if you put in one second and you click start, let's see here, for example, it's gonna do this. It's gonna keep changing every one second, so it's gonna be very hard to press on anything, okay? So to press on anything, you actually need to stop it so you can fix the screen and click on something. Otherwise, you can set it to three seconds and it's gonna start to move slowly so you can actually have time to click on the new hits, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's for the time. I'm gonna refresh the page again so this disappears. So, page to scraps, I don't really know what is it, but I tried changing it and nothing happened, so I just keep it at one for now, okay? Um, correct for skips, let's see. Search additional pages to get a more consistent number of results. Okay, I think this is better. I haven't tried it personally, it doesn't make a difference for me. Uh, results per page is how many results are gonna show in the scrapper. So for example, I have it set to 100, so I can see a big number of variety, but maybe if your Chrome lags or anything, you wanna limit it to 20 or something. So when you press start, it's actually gonna show fewer hits, you know, you see? Like it shows only the first few for me. If you change it to 40, it's gonna show more. And the reason why it doesn't show actually 40 or 20 when it said it is because I have a lot of requesters blocked. So they're supposed, they're supposed to be showing, but I have them blocked so this, they disappear. How you do it is, you see the uh, R and T letters on the left? 
So R, if you press it, it blocks the request there. It doesn't show any hit for the request there. But T, if you press it, uh, it 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 um it just blocks a title like this hit from this requester. So this hit from this requester will not show again. And where you can see this is you have a block list here. See, see, edit block list. That's a block list you have. That's the name of everything you block. So um, let's say last one. I'm going to block this hit. It's called I bought a target. Does this receipt well, um, contains the following products? I'm gonna block it. I'll cover the block list. I'll go down, 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 down. Exactly. It's here. Does this receipt contains the following products? So if you want to remove it to be able to work it again, you just delete it and you delete the sign after it. Okay? So press save. That's it. If you search again, it's gonna show. It's gonna show again. It disappeared now. But if you search again, it's supposed to show if it's available. Yeah, see, I pulled a target. Are these receipts the same? Okay. So, uh, back to the top. Minimum reward. That's the minimum payment the hit uh, pays. So here, I have the minimum reward 0 0.01 because I want to see every single hit that pays 0 0.01 and up. Okay. If you want to work on surveys that pays, for example, 50 cents or more, you put it to um, 0 0.50 and you click start. Okay, you search, you give it time to search, it says, yeah, see, here's 0 0.5 cents, 50 cents, I mean, and above. Okay, so this is for the minimum reward. Qualified. You need to check the check next to it. If you want to show only the hits that you're qualified to do. So if you remove this, it's gonna show the hits that you don't have certain qualification for, which means you cannot do it. So it's kind of useless. So you have to check it anyway. Masters only, that's, you need to check if you want to see only the hits that requires master's qualification. So basically, if you are master, probably you know how to use hit scrubber very well anyway. So don't check that. Hide master. So that means it's gonna show. I mean, it's gonna hide everything that have master qualification. In the same case, you only do this if you have master qualification. If not, just leave it blank. Hide invisible. It says filters out the hit tools qualifications that you do not have and can neither request or take a test to. So what does it mean? What is the difference from checking qualified or not? Okay, so how it's feasible is some hits you don't have the qualification for, but you can record the qualification or you can take a test to get this qualification. If these options are not available, that means you can never get the qualification. So you check this, so it hides these kind of hits. So yeah, I, I think checking it is better. Minimum batch size. That's for people who want to work on uh, numerous batches like uh, let's say uh, A9 batches like data validation or anything. So um, let's say I set it to 50, okay? 50, and I click start. Session right now, retrieving torque option data. So I'm gonna do another refresh and check. So it's supposed to show here that the number of hits at 50 or more, like number of hits, how many are available. But I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken. So anyway, I'll just put it to one, which is default. Okay. Global is applies a minimum batch size filter all search options. Yeah, I, I, I don't exactly know what is that, so I'll just leave it as one. Uh, new hit highlighting. Let's see. It doesn't show anything, so I'll just leave it at default right now. Okay. Sound on new hits. That's if you wanted to do this uh, squee or ding sound every time a new hits appear, okay? I have it on check. 
but sometimes it gets really annoying if you have um, like a minimum reward of 0 0.01 because hits keeps coming and it's like wee 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 and it's gonna be really annoying after a while so it depends on, on how much you're putting on some minimum reward and if you like it or not of course um, TO, what's TO? TO is an abbreviation for torque options okay so torque option, what is torque option? let's go torque so, Dark Option is a website that is used uh, to report hits and requesters. So, let's say you don't get hit and you didn't really like it, you don't like the hit. So, if you download the extension uh, and the Tumblr Monkey from Greasy Fork, and I'll show that in a different video. Uh, you can actually report the requesters that he pays low, you see, like Fairness here, which is Fairness 3.95, uh, Generosity, Promptness, and stuff like this. You can actually rate the requester. So, what is it good for? If we keep other Turkers like us, if we keep reporting requester for whether they are good or bad, it's always better for us. So, maybe when you're doing a hit for a requester, you want to check if he's a good requester or a bad requester, if he pays well, he pays bad, if he uh, is good with communication or bad with communication. It's really nice feedback for Azure Darkers. So, if you disable this, and we refresh the page, we do start. It, so you see all the, um, all the hits are in grey. All the hits are in grey, that means you don't get a feedback on how good or bad they are, you just see the name of the hits, how much they pay. If you enable it and you click start, it takes longer to load sometimes because it, it's getting this data from another website, so it takes longer to load. So you, you're basically sacrificing a little bit of time of loading. For getting all this feedback, green means it's good, uh, less green means it's it's a little worse, yellow means it's like average, white means it's not rated yet, red means it's a bad requester, and so on. Okay. Um, so, search by latest, most available reward title. That means the arrangement of the search. If we do it by most available, it's going to show how much is available and it's going to put the highest in the top. So, number available here, we see number available. That means how many number of the hits is available. Okay, so this requester, for example, I have this patch which is 6754 here, 754 uh, next one is 442 and that's a number of I mean, how many like how many hits this requester have okay uh, so I like to put it by latest invert is basically inverting the search option so let's say you have it by latest and you invert it it's gonna show the oldest first if you have it by most available, it's gonna be like like show by the minimum available first. Okay, so just like by latest and uh, check that. Minimum pay torque option. That's not how much the uh, the requester pays for sale. Okay, that's something different. Uh, minimum pay torque option is brought like basically how good uh, the feedback of the requester is on torque option website. So if you have a uh, higher uh, rating on how much he pays per hit, it's going to be, for example, 5. Like we're going to go up to 5. That's like, it's going to go requesters, it's going to, I mean, it's going to show requesters that only pay very well according to people's feedback. As with M Darker's feedback, of course. If we put it to 3, that means we are in the middle. That means requesters that base average to good are gonna show. If you boost it to one, it's gonna show everything. Every requester is gonna show because you're basically showing every requester that have a feedback of one which is the lowest and more. Okay. Hide a uh, number talk option. So get search results, hide the results that have no or too few oh so if the um, requester have no feedback, probably it's gonna uh, not show at all, which I don't actually use. I just like to see everything. Sort by dark option B. Okay, so 
if we take this, it's supposed to show the guys uh, like the requesters that have a better torque option pay first. Let's try it. So, okay. As I can see, here torque option payment is sorted from highest to lowest. Actually, no. Actually, no. I see requesters that have torque, uh, torque option pay lower than higher. Okay, I think this option is not very consistent or it's not working. Let's try it. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be... Okay, maybe... Maybe... I don't know, maybe it's not working. Um, I'll just not check it for now. I'll just leave it blank. Okay, search terms. So here, uh, if you want to enter a keyword to show a specific key. So, for example, you see this one? It's called what is good, what is it good for? So let's say what is, is it? Uh, I click search. It's gonna show only the hits that have these keywords in them. So for example, if you're searching for a specific hit, you want to write the words here, okay? Hide block list. So previously I showed you how to block a requester or how to block a certain hit. So if you do this and you want to show everything that you blocked, you untick this. If you want to hide everything that you blocked, it ticks this. Okay? Very simple. Restricted to include list. Okay. So um, there's something called include list. So um, let's I'll show you on the hit finder, it's easier to explain. If you do this, if you do this, and they pause it again. So if this requester is really good and they want to include his hits, so when this uh, hits from this particular requester comes, it notifies me that this requester just posted a hit because I want to focus on this requester, for example. So what I need to do is I can press on include hits or include requester. So the difference is if you include a requester in your list, Every hit that uh, shows up as a requester, you're going to be notified for it. But if you choose include hit, it's going to show only this hit for this particular requester when it shows up again. For example, let's say you see a qualification hit that is going to give you a qualification for a certain requester and you really want it, but you don't have um, enough uh, time to keep checking for it. So what you can do is you can see the hits that you didn't catch it and you want to catch in the future. You click here and you put include it. So every time this hit's going to be available, it's going to show on top of here in a green bar and it's going to be like notifying you here on the bottom of your screen. It's going to show a big notification like this hit is available now. You need to do it. Okay. So. Uh, I don't really know what this option is. It's called offline hits that match your include list with a dashed green border. Hmm. I have never tried it myself. Anyway, so in here, if you can see, there is a setting. Here, you see the block list. Uh, this explanation stuff and settings, like you can here uh, change the theme from classic to deluge or anything. Uh, heat coloring. I have never changed anything in here, to be honest. Like, it's very sufficient to just mess around with these options. Uh, so, here, edit include list. If you want to add the included requesters or the hits, you can do it from scraper too. You don't have to do it from the finder. It's just easier to do it from the finder, okay? Uh, edit block list. I showed you before how to del delete and uh, include hits here. Hide panel. Oh, what does this do? Oh, it literally hides a panel up there. Okay. Easier if you just want symbol like that and you don't need to show more on your screen. Start. Of course, start and stop. So, I think I've covered everything about these scrubbers that I know in this video. Maybe there's other things that I haven't discovered yet. If you uh, are facing any troubles or you want, you want to know something else, please feel free to ask me. I'll just post the video on the uh, Facebook group right now. Good luck.